dumbbell reverse lunge into step up. So we have just taken one of our benches, flipped it up onto its highest, set, highest setting, is we have a firm surface to step up onto. If you don't have access to a bench, um, you can use a bunch of different options. Like a harder plyo box is gonna be your best choice. Try to pick something that's got relatively a firm surface. So there's a couple different variations that we can do in terms of stepping onto the box with our off leg, but when you go to that reverse lunge and you're coming out of it and going into the box to step up onto, we wanna do our best to, similar to a normal step up, to not really drive off the back leg or my foot that's pointed on the ground. And then when I go into my lunge, I wanna be mindful that I'm not crossing my feet over and getting really narrow in my base of support. So good kind of fundamental mechanics for our stability is gonna be feet hip width apart. When I go to that reverse lunge and I come back out of it, I'm not narrowing my base of support and I'm not excessively widening it. So I'm trying to keep my feet under my hips. So dumbbell, I'm gonna to go to the reverse lunge. As I come out of that, the leg that went back is gonna be the one that goes to the, the bench here. I'm gonna shift my weight, stand up, get both legs to the top, back down with the opposite leg, and then I'm gonna come out of that and try to go right in to a reverse lunge. So I'm pivoting essentially over my right foot and stepping up with my left foot. Now a lot of people, when they go to do the step up, they kind of get in the groove of the lunge to step up. They forget to come all the way to the top. They'll kind of just go to this position where my knee's really bent. So sometimes we'll have people drive the opposite leg up to 90. It's because it helps really um, show you what that stance leg is doing. We want to be able to get this bottom leg straight. Step out of it, reverse lunge, step through, drive that knee up to 90. It's a little bit different for everybody. You certainly don't have to do it with that knee drive, but we just want you to be mindful that as you step up onto that box, you're getting that top leg straight. And then the other piece again is coming off the box. Like a normal step up, don't let your leg fall and catch yourself with a down leg. So do your best to go in control. 18 inches is probably a good place to start for most people in terms of the height. If you find yourself using a lot of momentum to where you're driving off the bottom leg to get onto the box and you're falling off the box, the box height's probably too high or the weight's too heavy or a combination of both of them. And then as always, quality over quantity. So if your technique gets really sloppy, adjust the weight accordingly. 